hello there. Um, this is Alice and this is my channel, The Witch in the Glen. Um, we are going to get into a quick little reading here. Um, yeah, and this one is going to be pretty quick, I think, because I've got to, I've got to run. But, um, I wanted to get into the cards and see, see what we have, um, in store for the collective today. What are the energies like? So this is a timeless energy message. Whenever you find this, that is when this message is meant for you. So um, take what resonates and leave what does not. Anything that gives you a pit in your stomach or makes you feel like crap is not your message. Um, or there's a message, or you know, you can also think of it as like that's a message about some karma that you need to work through, some stuff that's triggering you. So, um, but don't don't just sit around letting yourself um, wallow in all of your shadow because that is not what shadow work is. Um, okay, so let's see what we have here. I am working with the Ethereal Visions um, Tarot deck. Um, by Matt Hughes, and it's gorgeous. Um, let's see. Okay, dear Holy Spirit, can you please um, provide us with a message that can help the collective today? Queen of Pentacles. Oh, so you're in Queen of Pentacles energy. Let's see. Let's see what... Of Pentacles in reverse, Tower. Four Swords. Ooh. Okay. Okay, so you've been in this Queen of Pentacles energy and you've and which is translated to you um translated to this Ten of Pentacles energy in your life, which is, um, the Ten of Pentacles is like the ultimate success story. It is the, um, if the Queen of Pentacles is the Queen of Abundance and um, Good Harvest and Manifestations and um, Wealth and Prosperity, the Ten of Pentacles is the Wealth and Prosperity and the Abundance that the Queen of Pentacles basks in the <clears throat> ten of pentacles here it's in the reverse which tells me that you've been in this queen of pentacles energy but you had not quite gotten to your ten of pentacles so um this was being that you were in this queen of pentacles energy this means that this created like a sort of a house of cards scenario where you, the energy was not backing you up in the queen of pentacles um archetype so we have this tower moment come in so something has happened where you've been working really hard on your abundance and and your uh product, pr productivity and um your relationship with uh fears around scarcity and things like that and and it wasn't quite getting there and so this tower moment this is something that's happened where you have had a major split in your timeline where the where you hit the tipping point there was a straw that broke the camel's back somewhere in here and you have released yourself from this energy that was what the binds that were holding you back so the queen of pentacles is released the five of swords it's like um this is like a defeat so you are taking your spoils and moving on and this is like you're picking up the pieces of this ten of pentacles that's gotten knocked over by this tower of it and here you are all your enemies are retreating so you've gotten some good energy flowing in your life the people who were not in your corner who were not manifesting on behalf of you um they you have uh, rolled in their good energy. This is how karma works. You've rolled in their good energy and their good consciousness. And, um, hey, kitty. I know. Thank you. Thank you so much. You brought me a toy. Thank you. Thank you. Um, 
the five of swords. So you are picking up the pieces and moving on and you are treating this like a victory. This could have been, um, a tower moment can sometimes be a very stressful moment, but here you have treated this as a victory and you've taken and you've come out on the other side um, and you are no longer in despair. You're no longer caught in this stagnancy where she was. You are no longer, you are no longer um, being tortured by anything. So I'm thinking that there were some shadow work and triggers and things like that that you hadn't quite worked through that might have been recently stimulated. Um, and and it looks like you busted through some of the shadow work. So um, the upshot is that you have cleared out energy for love to come in. So the Ace of Cups, that is a an offer from the hand of God. This is going to be a divine partnership, a divine, um, a divine person coming into your life who is meant for you. It's destiny meant for you. Um, but right now you are in this waiting game and you are trying to figure out how, where to take yourself moving forward. You've got all these swords that you've acquired from, from the victory that you had here where something really fell apart recently and you've taken what you've learned and you're moving on you're no longer stuck and um but you are at a decision point so you're not stuck but you're at a decision point where you're trying to figure out how to move ahead with the energies that you now are working with um something is going to happen where there is a person who comes into your life or um, you, yeah, you meet somebody or somebody that you know is going to tell you how they feel about you, tell you that they have deeper feelings for you than maybe you had realized. Um, this Ace of Cups, it's overflowing with water and, um, it's this beautiful golden hand of God coming in. So this is going to be a really special time, um, don't fixate, try not to fixate on this Ace of Cups coming in because it's coming no matter what happens. So right now, what would be really good for you to do is to try and figure out, okay, what am I going to do with all these lessons that I've learned up to this point and how can I leverage my prior energy of the Queen of Pentacles into um, something that really looks like more of a love story, like more of a success story. So keep moving with this. Um, you're in these energies. We have, we are getting blasted like uh, our, with, by just like the highest energies that we ever have. So right now in this human resonance and with regard to our solar weather. So if you don't know what that means, then, then um, stick around and you'll probably hear me talk about it. But, um, but this is a great time to be doing shadow work, to be working with working with um, your guides to really determine like what stuff should come with me and what stuff should should go um, as you're moving forward in life. Are you taking all of your interest and all of your um, all of your spoils or are you being selective and maybe paring back and trying to figure out? what are the things that really mean mean to you in your life and what are the things that you really love to do, love to be involved with. Um, and when you get into this kind of alignment, that is what will draw you in, will draw in an Ace of Cups, draw in a Two of Cups to your, um, to your reality. So, um, yeah, well, this is a cool reading. Okay, I will see y'all later. And um, yeah, hit like or subscribe if you didn't already. Bye.